the emission lines of hydrogen in the spectra of almost all galaxies shows a redshift, meaning you are shifted into the longer wavelengths. Explain what, what is meant, I mean, explain the meaning of the term redshift. Well, I guess I just explained it, right? This is D, increase in the wavelength of electromagnetic radiation due to relative motion between the galaxies, the stars, the stellar object, and the observer. All right, B. The emission lines of hydrogen spectrum have a wavelength of 21.1 centimeters. Measurement of the redshift of this line in the spectrum of M84, which I guess is the name of another galaxy, is redshifted by 0.0633 cm. Watcher, the instrument are very sensitive, very precise. Um, it better be, okay? This is our telescope, very high power, very expensive. Okay. They have to be. And by the way, these are all infrared already. So as long as your wavelength increases, you know. Anyway, calculate the velocity of galaxy M84. All right, so we're going to take the rate Doppler shift equation. The shift in wavelength over wavelength is the recession velocity over the speed of light. So I can rearrange this a bit just to change the flavor. Uh, rate shifted by this much, so you can just put the number in. Thank you very much. Divided by 21.1 multiple cm. Multiply by 3.0 times 10 to the power 8. Okay, so cm and cm can yeet. Bye-bye. And what I have is a hefty 9.0 times 10 to the power of 5 meter per second. Ooh, fast. Given that this galaxy is 60 million light years distant, so it's like very far away, calculate the value for the Hubble constant in second negative one. Okay, so just a quick reminder, the Hubble's law equation, recession velocity is H0 times D, really have V, but we need to make sure that every all three of this is in SI. So I need to find D. This is my D, but it's not in SI. So 60 million, million is 10 to the power of six, okay? 60 million 10 to the power of 6. Okay, and also uh, we need to convert light years into meter. Thankfully, we are given the value of one light year 9.46 times 10 to the power of 50. So we can throw everything in. This is 9.0 due to the Doppler rate shift. Looking for H0, and our D would be. 60 times 10 to the power of 6 million light years converted to meter 9.46 times 10 to the power of 15. Now you can find your H0, okay, which is 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 18, second negative one. Sure, isn't it 2.2? Well, remember when we recorded the theory videos, Miss Ellie and I mentioned that there are a lot of sources of uncertainties <laughs> because we're measuring something that's really, really far away that change very, very little. Okay, it's a bit like measuring today in, in the past one hour or in the past uh, four minutes of watching this lecture video, how, how much your hair grow. So it's very sensitive, very prone to errors. Okay, but it's good enough. As long as we have the 10 to the negative 18, we're not that bad, right? D, suppose at some distant time in the future, that means a long, long time later, and they all live happily ever after. No la, no la. Very, very long time later. I, I, I am not here anymore. Maybe, maybe you not here anymore. Maybe your great, 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 great grandchildren. 
many many million years later future astronomers let's hope we're not yet extinct yet or maybe these are aliens who knows okay anyway let's say we fast forward time suddenly it is observed that most galaxies were showing a blue shift so this is not the milky way spiral problem uh. this one are uh, most galaxies blue shifted teacher so scary one what could you deduce about the expansion of the universe so you know how we have a big bang theory right here big bang theory which is the universe originated in originated from a very dense single point and has been expanding ever since hence the bang This one is shown in redshift. But because, you know, humans, we're not, we haven't been around exactly for a long, long time. We are not sentient human. You know. Basically, we don't know now, okay? So we, have been, we haven't been along long enough. We don't really know what will happen. Will it continue to redshift? We don't know. But let's say we suddenly see a blue shift. Then we're going to talk about the big bounce. Okay, but we're going to talk about that first by explaining how that relates to blue shift. So blue shift shows an a decrease in observed uh, wavelength. So this shows that all galaxies are moving towards each other gg law expansion stop now yes so they were expanding and then come back this would suggest that the universe has stopped expanding the universe stopped expanding and it's now contracting this is my answer okay and this has a name it's called the big bounce boing boing so the universe will expand and then it explodes it will just oscillate okay so it all started from the same point it expands explodes and after that it shrinks back to the same point and it explodes and shrinks back to the same point you know what? i talk so much for what i show you gifla there you go it expands it goes towards each other it expands again it goes towards each other so that's the big bang then the big crunch big bang big crunch you know what you can use it as a breathing exercise you know to meditate and think about how crazy the universe is and how small we are and how little we know about how these things work all right that's it this is your big bang when it expands big crunch when it contracts look we don't know if it will happen we are just waiting for time to pass and hopefully humans will still be around to make a conclusion so let's write down those ideas okay it's a big bounce or actually maybe i'll just call this the big crunch theory question mark so if there's a bang and there's a crunch they can also call it bounce okay so the universe could be bouncing expand contract expand contract and that's it for this question but in a nutshell we are just looking at stars measuring its wavelength measuring how the wavelength changes trying to figure out how far away it is how small we are and at the end of the day if ever everything begin to show a blue shift if ever all the stars begin to come back again 
then we would know the universe is now in the other phase. It's crunching. Oh. For all you know, it may just keep expanding. We don't know. But what I do know is, you got this. Keep asking questions. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.